皆さんこんにちはタスです。私の購読者の一人からアメリカの州についてどう思うか尋ねられました。面白い質問だと思ったので動画を作りたいと思いました。まず私はアメリカの真ん中にあるカンザスシティの出身です。もちろん全てのアメリカ人の意見が異なりますがこれは私がアメリカで育った時に私と私の周りの人々の持っていた意見の一部です。アメリカは50の州の大国なので私は人気のある州と一般的な地域についてのみ説明します。今日の動画に英語を話します。でも心配しないでね。字幕がありますよもし動画が面白ければチャンネル登録といいねお願いしますじゃあ行きましょう OK first let's talk about New York New York is always super popular right? When I was growing up I imagined that people from New York love Broadway and theater and that maybe people from New York were kind of weird or unique For example, they had crazy colored hair or had an interesting fashion sense. Also, I imagined that they were really, really loud. I often heard that New York is known to be a place that's kind of dirty and maybe has a lot of rats, so it's not very clean. I also heard people say that it kind of stinks. I'm not sure if that's true though. The New York accent was very popular. For example, coffee instead of coffee. Was a well known word that New Yorkers often said in a funny way. <laughs> However, overall, New York was always seen as a place that everyone wanted to visit someday or everyone wanted to move there when they were grown up. So let's talk about California next. California was always seen as almost the exact opposite of New York City. <laughs> so people from California tend to be vegans and Kind of hippies. I thought that people from California love surfing and are always on the beach. <laughs> I thought that while people from New York are always very busy and running around, that people from California are more carefree and they like to relax and, like I said before, just hang out on the beach. <laughs> I had always heard that California is very expensive, so I thought that people from California must be rich. And also that they tend to love plastic surgery. <laughs> the Asian food in California is delicious. Everyone knows about Disneyland, so that's one of the first things you think of when you think of California. Although people from New York love theater and Broadway, I and the people around me imagined that people go to California because they love acting, because they love Hollywood. The next one I want to talk about is Florida. There isn't too much I can say about it. There was Disney World, so Florida was known for the Disney place, and that Florida is populated by old people and weird people. <laughs> and only those two types of people. <laughs> Obviously, that is not true, but it is kind of a stereotype that all the old people and all the weird people are from Florida. <laughs> also, Florida is infamous for finding alligators in your backyard. Isn't that scary? And another state that I think is very popular is Hawaii. Actually, I have never been to Hawaii, but always has nice weather and all the people are so happy. I think of people wearing leis and hula dancing everywhere. Also, that everywhere you look, there will be volcanoes or everyone eats pineapples. It's a very stereotypical image, isn't it? Next, I want to talk about the north part of America. I actually have family up north, so I can kind of say that this is true. <laughs> And it's not just a stereotype. In the north, they have two seasons. There are three months of summer and nine months of winter. There's no fall and no spring. People have a funny way of saying bag. They say bag. And this is not a stereotype. This is true because I have family that say bag. <laughs> oh, also, that there are many corn farms. The north is kind of a popular place for farming. Like corn farms and things. And opposite the north is the south part of America. The south part is kind of an interesting part of America. People usually eat things like fried chicken, gumbo, and they drink sweet tea. So, in general, they like a lot of 
fried, spicy, and very sweet foods. Instead of saying, how are you doing? They will say, how y'all doing? They like hunting and fishing and that kind of thing. Also, that people from the south are very religious and they love horses, specifically horses. <laughs> also, I've heard that the south has a lot of swamps. I'm not sure if that's true, but I have heard such a thing. However, I have also heard that people from the south are one of the nicest types of people you will meet in America. I'm not sure if this is very popular, I think it is, but Alaska? It's next to Canada. I heard that Alaska had beautiful nature and that it's very empty. Not many people live there because it's not very developed. I've heard that in summer the sun doesn't set and in winter the sun never rises. <laughs> it's very cold, but it's beautiful. And then lastly, I want to talk about my area of the United States, which is the Midwest. The Midwest, in general, is kind of the forgotten place, the forgotten area. I have heard that some people in the East and West Coast kind of don't know anything about the Midwest because there's nothing exciting there. <laughs> However, I have heard that people from the Midwest are some of the nicest people you will find in America. So I guess if you are looking for kind people, you went either the South or the Midwest. Most places in Midwest are just farms. It's kind of infamous for having tornadoes, so it's a little scary. <laughs> so I'm from Kansas City, and I thought I lived in a pretty big city until I visited San Francisco for the first time, and I realized just how small my hometown was. <laughs> and an interesting fact about my city, specifically Kansas City, is that half of it is in Missouri and half of it is in Kansas. Kansas and Missouri have this kind of rivalry of who is better. <laughs> so people from Missouri will say that um, Kansas City, Missouri is more fun and more interesting and Kansas is just a bunch of farms and it's the boring side of Kansas City. I, d I don't think that's actually true. It's a funny rivalry, isn't it? Okay. So that's what I and the people around me thought of different states in America while I was growing up. Of course, like I said before, not every American will agree with what I said, but it depends on where you grew up. And not every person acts like how I imagined or how I heard people act. These are just stereotypes, <laughs> so please remember that. What about in Japan? What do you think of different prefectures in Japan? Please comment. Bye-bye!